Hi, I'm going to show you how to log into Bianca from outside of the university network. I'll show that. That's the first step. Um, I'm outside of the university network, outside of SUNET as it's called. So I'll show you how to use a VPN to get into that place. Then I'm going to log in uh, to the Bianca remote desktop environment, which is like a graphical user interface to use Bianca. And then I'm going to log into the Bianca command line environment, which is only text there. And then I'll show you a bit about the login node and how to start an interactive job. So the first step is to use a VPN. Well, the first quick thing about Bianca's design is the idea is that she's a computer cluster to protect sensitive data. That's her job, and she helps doing that. And she tries to be an HPC a high performance computer cluster environment as much as she can. And in this little picture, you see that Bianca I is, is Im embedded in the SUNET network. Nothing can directly connect to Bianca. You need to get into the SUNET network, for example, using RackHam or a VPN that I'll show you soon. And only from there you can get to Bianca. So how to use a VPN? Well, so if you're inside the university network, you don't need it. If you're outside it, like I am, you you have to take a look at how to get VPN and the cr right credentials at your university. So I'm at Uppsala University, so I need to request the VPN services of the university, which is VPN Cisco, using Cisco AnyConnect. Um, you can install it here. It went super easy for me. And now I can just run it by doing AnyConnect by starting it. Uh, I connect to vpn.uu.se, Uppsala University at Sweden. And I need to connect, I need to type my password now, I'll do that now. Pam, it's password A, so in Uppsala you have like two passwords, so password A. And now I'm connected to the VPN. This means that my web traffic will be, will be going via that VPN, and that VPN is in SUNET, so I'm pragmatically, practically I'm within SUNET now. So now I can do the rest. So the next step is to log in to the Bianca remote desktop environment. There's a website for this. So I click this now and you see that it's very convenient to use. So my username is uh, Richel. The project name is this one. My password I have to type this in now. And this should be have been your Upmax password. So the password you use on Bianca it has nothing to do with your email stuff. And now we have the two-factor authentication, which is um, yeah you have installed this on Super as well. Um, but you shouldn't use the Super 2FA. You should use the Upmax two-factor authentication number. So it should say Upmax on your app. And if you type it in, you get in. So this is how it looks like. This is the first page. Uh, so there's some maintenance and September 6th. You have to type your password again here, but this is without the two-factor authentication. It says here so too, no second factor here, because you're already in. So I type in my password now. And now, um, hey, uh, of course. Mm -hmm. So now you can already see at this tab that it's, it's a program called ThinLink. It will establish a connection to a remote desktop. It's a, some kind of Linux distribution and you can use all your graphical things there. So it's building up. You see it's uh, like the, the things you would expect from a Linux distribution. So this is how you log in remotely. So you can use a graphical user interface now like RStudio or whatever. I'm not going to talk about you that I'm in the remote desktop environment. This is all I'm going to talk about. This. So I'm close it. Instead, I'm now going to log in to the Bianca command line environment. And for that, you need to be within SUNET again, or use a VPN like I do. So it's here. And you use SSH and then user dash project name at bianca.upmax.uu.se. I can just copy paste that. And you'll see that um, so the password is again my password and a two-factor authentication number. So now I have to type in my Bianca password. I'm doing this now. 
I've typed in my Bianca password now, and now I'm going to use my Upmox two-factor authentication number, 532994, and now I'm into Bianca. Note also here, and it, it says here, uh, you don't need two-factor authentication anymore, it's just your password again. So I'm going to use that. And now I'm on Bianca. So it, um, it takes a bit of time before she finds a login note because she work all isolated here. But I'm on Bianca now. So uh, there's, uh, there's a little bit of stuff there. Um, I'm on Bianca. So the last step is, is the thing that we're now on the login note. And on the login note, um, you, you use easy jobs. Like you do very easy things, uh, like moving a file or whatever. Or you start jobs for worker nodes, so-called job scripts. Let's say you want to do something big and you want to try out uh, things. Then you have to start an interactive session, as it's called. Then you log into a worker node. So suddenly you're a worker node, which is uh, a bit more powerful. And there you can do your rough calculations. But the login node, you should only use it to do easy things. So I'm going to show you how to do this. You have to use this uh, command. I'm going to use the correct uh, project number. So the command is interactive dash capital A project number and then the rest of these things. It, it requests you um, two cores for eight hours. You can change those numbers. It's just to have a number because you need those numbers. Uh, you need to give some numbers. So it's now looking for a, a worker node that I can start working on. Uh, I'm going to cancel this. You'll see, like, if I would continue running it, it will give me a blank screen as if I've, as, as if I've just logged in. Um, I'm not. I just entered a worker node. And if I stop it, I get back into the login node. I'm going to cancel this job with Control c You can kill it. Now I'm back on my fancy login node, and I can do stuff. Um, like uh, hello or whatever, like uh, like everything I've typed until now. Easy calculation, sure you can do. Do you do harder stuff? Use the interactive note. All right, that was it. I wish you good luck. Bye.